Almost a billion people go to bed hungry every night. In a time when some people suggest burning food crops in our cars to slow down global warming, this is unacceptable. Turns out there's an amazing way to help very effectively, but one you probably haven't heard about. In 1968, we thought India, with its soaring population, was a basket case. But the Green Revolution from the 1970s multiplied agricultural output thanks to higher yielding varieties, pesticides, fertilizers, and irrigation, saving hundreds of millions of lives. Over the past 40 years, starvation in the developing world has dropped from 34 to 16 percent. But we've not done enough to keep up. Yields are not increasing fast enough. What the world needs is a Green Revolution 2.0. For the Copenhagen Consensus, some of the world's top economists found that agricultural research and development is one of the smartest ways to spend to do good in the world. An extra $8 billion annually invested in research and development would increase yields and decrease prices, allowing billions to spend less of their scarce resources on food. 200 million fewer would go hungry by mid-century. For every dollar invested in agricultural research and development, we'd see a direct benefit of $18. But there's more. By developing varieties that are more robust and heat resistant, bad years will be less bad. We can make hunger catastrophes much less likely. That would make for another $10 in economic benefits. And we are still not done. Higher yields from agricultural research and development means we need to cut down fewer forests to feed more people. This leaves more space for the planet's species, helping biodiversity. And more forests store more carbon, which is important for our climate. That's perhaps another $8 in economic benefits. A Green Revolution 2.0 can help people getting better food, avoid starvation, preserve biodiversity, and address global warming. For every dollar spent, we can do between 30 and 40 dollars of good. It may not be the trendiest issue, but agricultural research and development is one of the best ways to help the world.